What does it mean to remain watchful in our scary world? Listen, we live in a sinful, scary time in history, and today I'm going to show you, through Peter, that being sober-minded and watchful is the key to avoiding being devoured by the world. Let's get started. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to Reason for Truth. I'm your host, Stevie Garofalo. You know, with the Reason for Truth, truth comes first, reasons come last, but we're always in constantly learning. Why? Because we stop learning, we stop teaching, or at least stop teaching. Well, you know I'm not going to have any of that. Peter tells us in 1 Peter 5 that we must be what? Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour, resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of sufferings are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. 1 Peter 5, 8-9. Man, I tell you what, that is kind of comforting, knowing that we're not alone in this world, right, for suffering. We think we're suffering here. I tell you, Christians are being real suffering around the world, much more than Americans, certainly, in the West. The word devour here is also describes what the Red Sea did, or what God did through the Red Sea to the pursuing Egyptian army, right? Hebrews eleven twenty nine. Satan wants to completely drown out or swallow up our testimony as not to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Well, let's be careful to avoid and repel that. The verse here is written to persecuted Christians, by the way, in the church around 66 AD. God is using this same verse in application for you and I today, the church as a whole in 2023 and for all times. That being said, as we live out our, our life in this sinful, scary world that wants to devour us, let's be encouraged that it's not the first time, certainly won't be the last, that our adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone, namely us as believers in Jesus Christ, to, de to devour. Namely, again, you and I as believers in Jesus Christ. I want to reiterate that. Satan doesn't really mess with people who aren't making a difference. He loves mediocre people, loves people who are not making a difference, and he certainly loves people that are living sinfully. Kind of leaves them alone. He'll mess with them to some degree, but he really wants to come for us, right? Because we're his adversary. He's our adversary. Listen, with God's strength, we are able to resist him, that's the devil, and remain and even become firm in our faith, knowing that the same kinds of suffering have been and currently are in the past and, and currently are being experienced by other believers all throughout the world. And you might be listening to this as a persecuted Christian somewhere in the world. We need to be praying for you. Put something down there or just join my community at stephengarafalo.com. It's a more private place. We'll make sure we're praying for you. 1 Peter 5, 8-9. In the end, God tells us through Peter to be what? Sober-minded and watchful. That's the key to avoiding being devoured by the world. We have to see it coming before it hits us in the face. Being sober-minded, being watchful. Listen, our adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, period, seeking someone to devour. We need to resist him, being firm in our faith, knowing that the same kind of suffering has been experienced by your brotherhood, throughout the world, 1 Peter 5, 8 to 9. And that's how you and I can avoid being devoured by our enemy who's prowling around in our scary and very evil world. And that's the bottom line. Hope this has encouraged you. Hope it's further equipped you, give you something to hang your hat on for this day, being in God. Read, listen, read the whole passage there, 1 Peter 5. Read the whole the whole book. Maybe read the whole book of Peter, but that's uh, 1 Peter 5, 8 to, 8 to 9. Read 1 Peter chapter 5 and all. Get some context. What came before, what came after. Look at what it's actually saying there. So God's blessings to you. Listen, if you want to go more deeply, I want to invite you to join my community at stephengarafalo.com. I'll put that on the screen. It's my community. I post about three articles, devotions per week and so many other things you'll see posted there. You won't, you won't see posted anywhere else. So hope you'll join us there. Listen, also make sure you like and subscribe this. That's going to end then hit that alert bell. It's going to help the algorithms kick up. If you could do that, just hit the little thumbs up there. If you're on video and if you're, you're on audio, make sure you like both. That's really going to help us. That's going to help, listen, get the word out. It's going to help a lot of other people hear the encouraging word uh, that God gives us here through me. So God's blessings to you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Steve Garofalo. Until next time, this is your reason for truth for today. <music>